there's a common mistake, very close. There's a common mistake that students make with this. That, that's why I wanted to handle this uh, problem just like this. So it's really important, ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing a problem like this, that you understand that, all right, here's the index, right? Well, first of all, we know if we know it's in this format, you guys, sh we could just easily rewrite the rules. n root of a to the m equals a to the m over n, right? That's the rule. It's written right there for you guys. You're like, all right, now all we got to do is transfer that rule to this problems with now actually numbers. So we know n is equal to 3, right? That's obvious. The problem is we got to figure out what is a and what is m. Well, m, we don't see this as being raised to a power. So we know that it's being raised to first power because it's not shown. But we got to be careful. It's not b is being shown to the first power. It's 4b. So we want to make sure we use parentheses in this case. So now a is not just b. A is 4b. Would everybody agree with me? Yes? So therefore, it'd be 4b in parentheses to the 1 third. The reason being, guys, is there's a big difference than 4 times b to the 1 third. This means 4 times b raised to the 1 third power. This is b raised to the 1 third power times 4. Do you guys see the difference how these are not the same? They're very close, and I can see why you did this, right? Because there wasn't you had to insert your own parentheses. So it's not a major, I mean, it's a very common mistake. So just know moving forward from now on, when you have an expression, to make sure you put it in parentheses when it's raised to a power. Okay? So I kind of did that for learning purposes because it's a very just common mistake. Um, 